Now, away from that, President Akufado has announced plans by the government to reward players and the technical team of the Black Stars after their qualification to the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. The president says the team has brought pride and honor to the nation. City News' his Sami Uyafe has more. The team, which was led by its captain, Thomas Pate, and GFA president, Keto Kweku, were at the Jubilee House to meet the president after their impressive performance against the Super Eagles of Nigeria on Tuesday. President of the Ghana Football Association, Kat Okreku, says they endured a lot of frustrations in Abuja before, during and after the match. We kept the family unit. We kept the comradeship. We traveled into the lion's den. For those of you who were at the Mashud Abiola Stadium yesterday, you will fully understand what I mean by to play in the lion's den. In the morning before the game, Mr. President, I did say that our country, our proud colors, will be defended vehemently by 16 plus gallant men, not 11 on the pitch. <laughs> Mr. President, throughout my footballing career, I've never seen a hostile atmosphere like we went through in. Abuja. I've never seen, sorry, but I'll say it here. I've never seen much officials as hostile as we found ourselves playing against yesterday. Coach of the Black Stars, Otto Ado, paid glowing tribute to past coaches of the Black Stars who he says contributed to the current success of the team. I would like to say, I said it to some of the press uh, members already, um, these were only two games, but uh, there was a long path before I had, and uh, CQ Agrono is, is part of this success, and uh, as well as uh, Milovan Rajovac. <laughs> and of course, um, our captain, Andrew Ayu, and several players missing today. President Jakufar on his part says, government will do all it can to ensure the team is adequately prepared. In the spirit that we've seen in these two matches, and the level of skill, too, that has been demonstrated, kept together, the sky's the limit. Whatever it is that can be done on our side, as government, as officials, to support you, to give you the most agreeable and convenient background, tools, resources to work with, we will do it. The rest is up to you. But what I've seen, I know that a lot of good things are ahead of Ghanaian football. I want to welcome you all once again very warmly to the seat of the presidency and to congratulate you on behalf of the 31 million people in Ghana for the great feat. The chairman talked about going into the lion's den. I believe that was it. <laughs> and the events that took place after the match tells you that indeed you have been in and out of the lion's den.